So guys, for the first method, you wanna unplug and plug back in your video cable. If that's still not working for the second method, if you have a spare cable lying around somewhere, try to use that instead. See if that works for you. For the third method, you wanna head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna expand display adapters. Now you wanna find your graphics card. You wanna right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for device installed. I'm also going to be leaving down below free links for NVIDIA, AMD and Intel. You want to download the software that comes with your graphics card. For me I have an NVIDIA graphics card so I've got the NVIDIA app. And now once you're on our software, you want to click on the driver tab. Now you want to click on check for updates. Make sure the graphics card drivers are fully up to date for your software. See if that works for you. And now for the next method, you want to head over to search and type in display settings. Click on it. And now once you're on this, make sure that you have your correct monitor selected. Now we're going to scroll down until we get to display resolution. Now that our graphics card drivers are fully up to date, it should now let you change your display resolution. You should go with the recommended option, see if that works for you. And now for the next method, if we look on the left hand side, you want to click on Windows Update. And now this will come up, you want to click on Check for Updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. For the last method, you want to head over to Search and type in System Configuration. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to click on the Boot tab. Now you want to click on Safe Boot. And then click on OK and then click on restart. It's now going to take us into safe mode. And now once you're in safe mode, you want to head over to search and type in display settings. Click on it. And now once you're on this, make sure that you have your scale on the recommended option. Make sure that you have your display resolution also on the recommended option. And make sure that you have your display orientation on the correct option as well. It's most likely going to be landscape for you. Now once you do all of that, you just want to restart your computer. And then hopefully this method will now fix your problem.